Hi there. We've had a lot of people who are just confused or um, not sure how to log into Zoom using the SSO, which is the single sign-on option. And part of it, I think, is just not understanding where Zoom lives on your computer. So we thought we'd just take a moment to uh, look at my computer. Um, so I have a PC. If you have a Mac, it's going to look different. Um, but to look at where it lives on my PC and then also how some of that login um, might look for you. So first of all, here's my desktop. And if I go to the Start menu, so you'll notice I have Zoom right here on my desktop. But you might not. But if you have Zoom installed on your computer, it will be way at the bottom because it starts with a Z, right? So I'm going to scroll all the way down to my Start menu and I'm going to choose the icon for Zoom. If you don't have a Zoom under Z for Zoom, then you need to go install Zoom from zoom.us, right? And so install that application onto your computer. So I'm going to click this. So right now it just says sign in or join a meeting. So I'm going to click on the sign in. And this is where you get the sign in with SSO option or some of the other options. But actually, I'm going to take just a minute here. I'm going to sign in with not my school um, Zoom account because I want to show you um, what that looks like, how that looks differently. Um, so here it is. Here's Zoom. You're like, what? it's Zoom. It's logged in, right? Like I have a Zoom and it's open, but it's actually this is not my school Zoom. So if I go up to my icon in the top right and I click that drop down, I can look and see what the email is on this account. So this account is licensed to my personal Gmail account, right? That's not my school account, which is the one that we need to be using for all of the school things that integrate with Canvas. It's not going to work. So if I need to um, use my integrated school account, I need to go all the way to the bottom and choose sign out, right? Because I don't want to use this account. So I'm going to sign out of this and I'm going to sign in with SSO instead. So that's the single sign on. I'm going to type in VSC, which is the Vermont State Colleges, because that's where I work. You might work somewhere else. They might have their own SSO. I can't, I can't, I can't do your life. Um, so for most people, it's going to pop up a little um, login page. Mine remembers mine, um, but it will ask you to type in your username and password. And now when I click on this drop down, I can look and see that it's actually my school account that I'm using. So I know that this is the one I need to be logged into to make all of my Canvas integrations work, right? So there are different... Um, you can have different Zoom accounts. You need to have the right one working in order to access um, some of the integrations that we use. And that's that's how that desktop app application works. So on a Mac, again, you, get a, you probably have to look for applications on your Mac and then look for Zoom. And again, that process is very similar. The dots are in the opposite side. But you're looking for, you know, Who's it logged in as, and do I need to log in as somebody else, right? Do I need to use a different account? Because you might have a number of different accounts depending on um, how many Zoom accounts you have, right? Like it's pretty popular these days. So that's how Zoom works and how to log in using the desktop application with the SSO.